Hey friends, I'm Stephanie and today I'm going to show you the quickest way to track costs, take photos, and cross post to eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Facebook Marketplace. In this tutorial, I recommend that you use your phone to take the actual pictures but your computer for listing. I also recommend that you download Google Photos to your phone and your computer and then sync them up and also use a wireless mouse because it's really going to help you go a lot quicker. So we're going to start right from the beginning. This is the item that I got from the thrift store. You can see that I paid $1.99 for it. It's a red metal thermos. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to record how much I pay for it into my Google Sheet. It's super simple. All it has is the item and the cost that I paid for it. So I'm just going to go ahead and enter a simple description of my item and the cost. So this is super easy now. When I sell that item, all I have to do is go to my certain tab and enter in the item and my different feeds associated with it and I'm ready to go. Here's my setup. It's nothing fancy guys. It's just a white blanket that I have over my credenza and it's hanging over some artwork on my wall. I just have two lights. I just have a rig light here that's from Walmart and then a swivel light that I got from the thrift store with a daylight bulb in it. When you're ready to take your pictures, the first thing we're going to do is set up our camera on our phone. So what you're going to do automatically, it's set to full. We're going to change it to one by one aspect ratio. This will give you a nice square photo. Down at the bottom here, you can change the lighting temperature and you're just going to slide that around till it looks just like the item that you have in front of you. So I use this monkey here so you can see the how the colors change. Then you can also use the slider down here to change your exposure. And you want to have nice bright photos, but you don't want to wash them out. So just again, slide it around until it looks good. You've taken your photos, upload them into Google Photos, and then we're going to download our photos onto our computer hard drive from here. So click the little check button. I took these pictures yesterday. So click the little check button here, click the little three dots at the top, and then click download. That'll put it into a zip drive onto your hard drive. And when that's done, we're going to go ahead and unzip that file. Okay, when you go ahead and extract that file, what I do is I put all of my photos into a fresh folder. And I have mine listed as new for sale. Okay, I'm going to select that folder and extract all of my files into that folder. From there, I'm going to set up my four windows for the platforms I'm going to be listing on. Today, I'm going to do eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Facebook Marketplace. The order of these middle two does not really matter. It's the first one and the last ones that matter. The reason is because eBay gives you so many characters, the most amount of characters for your title. Facebook will just let you go on and on and on on your titles, but then, you know, won't let you upload. Poshmark and Mercari allow the least amount of characters in their title. And anyways, this sounds confusing, but I will show you what I mean in a moment. Okay, here I have already had my title started for you. And so go ahead and put your best information, the most important information on the very beginning of your title. You should always do this. What we're going to do is we're going to copy this title. So that's going to be Control A on Windows and Control C. And then we're going to bring it down here and we're going to click add photos. Now, because I have everything in my new for sale file, all I have to do is scroll down to find my photos and select those. And I'm going to open. Okay, then you're going to go through and fill out any of this information that's pertinent. Okay, so here I've already written my description, but this is where you, you would paste your title. So I'm going to delete that just to show you uh, from the beginning. So you're just going to paste your title that you brought up from the top right here. Okay, so now that we have our title and description here, we're going to copy all of this text. Okay, that's Control A, Control C, once again on Windows. And you're going to come down and fill out all this other information, your price, your shipping details, and then you're going to list it. Okay, then we're going to come over here to Poshmark and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to add all of our photos. They're right there. And then we're going to click apply. That's our cover photo. Then we're going to paste our title right there. And look, there it is. All the important information should be right at the front. If you might need to edit slightly because of the amount of characters you can put, and then you're going to 
paste your description down in the description. Okay, then you would just fill out all this information as normal. Okay, then we're gonna come over here to Mercari, upload photos. Same thing, title, paste, description, paste. And then I'm just gonna alter this one a little bit to fit. Then you would fill all this information in. Okay, then on Facebook Marketplace, this one's just a little bit different just because the title will not cut you off. So let's start off by adding our photos. And on Facebook Marketplace, you can only add 15. So when these upload, I'll take out five of them. Okay, well that's uploading. I'm gonna scroll down here to description. I'm gonna paste my description. And then I'm gonna start at the end and copy my title, Control C. Scroll up and paste. Okay, so that is the quickest way that I have found to cross post. And you're just, you're doing it once. It literally takes one minute, maybe two minutes to cross post on all these platforms. It's super easy. Okay, so when you're done with that listing and you're ready to start a new one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of the old photos that we just used. So I'm gonna grab all of those photos and I'm going to put them in one of my folders over here. I have several different folders so I can keep my photos organized. So I'm just going to drag and drop this in the home section. And that's going to get rid of it. So it's going to keep my folder a little bit cleaner, a little bit easier to see what I'm going to list next. And when I'm done listing all of these items, this folder is going to be completely empty. So the next time that I go to list, I can just reuse the same new for sale folder. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have, please like, subscribe, and save. I'll see you in the next video.